All right, short-term memory. Short-term memory, a lot of times we think of it as, right, what we're perceiving, right, what we're thinking about, what we're paying attention to. Here's something that researchers are looking at even more and more, however. That's a little bit different from the way you've probably been taught in the past. Short-term memory is actually a combination of perception and attention and long-term memory. For many years, researchers would just focus on perception and attention, right? That's what we've, we've talked about in this class. But do you think that long-term memory has an effect on what's going on in your short-term memory and how easy it is to keep things in short-term memory? Absolutely, it does. Because remember, a couple classes back, we talked about how experience can affect how we perceive things. That's really what we're talking about. The knowledge that we have, our long-term memory does affect how we interpret things in our short-term memory and how easy it is to remember something or even learn something new. It's a lot easier to learn something that's similar to knowledge we already have than something that's completely different. So you always want to remember, here's the bottom line. It is a combined focus of attention between perceptual memory and long-term memory. And that does have an effect on how we design. Now I'm going to do a quick exercise. Now, for those of you who have seen this, you're not allowed to say anything. Illusion. Count how many times the players wearing white pass the ball. The correct answer is 16 passes. Okay, did anyone get did that? Did you spot the gorilla? Yeah. <laughs> All right. For people who haven't seen or heard about a video like this before, about half missed the gorilla. Okay. Did you guys see the gorilla? <laughs> now, how many of you have seen this before? Or something similar? Similar. Something similar, probably about half of you. Is there anyone who didn't see the gorilla? Who wants to admit it? Okay, one brave person. The other half of you who haven't seen it are probably lying. So, all right, so this is actually fairly well known. So a lot of people do see the gorilla. Let's see what else. If you knew about the gorilla, you probably saw it. But did you notice the curtain changing color or the player on the black team leaving the game? Who noticed the player? Now, did you notice the player was missing, or you saw actually saw the player leave? I saw the player leave. I think I heard like half and half. Who noticed the curtain? One person. Usually, no one notices the curtain. Let's rewind and watch it again. <laughs> Here comes the gorilla, and there goes a player, and the curtain is changing from red to gold. When you're looking for a gorilla, you often miss other unexpected things. And that's the monkey business illusion. Learn more about this illusion and the original gorilla experiment at theinvisiblegorilla.com. Now, when you look at that background, it's like most of the screen. Yeah. How could we miss that? Yes, and I did miss it the first time, by the way, also. Because what were you doing? Because that wasn't our goal. That wasn't your goal, right? That's not what you were paying attention to. In fact, you weren't paying attention to anything in the background. You were only paying attention to the foreground. So even if you saw the gorilla, you were still paying attention to what was going on in that area. You weren't paying attention to what was going on behind, behind them. Even though we look at it now, we're like, wow, what a big difference. We do this all the time. So 
so that's something that's called change of blindness. All right, so basically, we don't notice things we're not paying attention to. We do it all the time. And even things that we think are really, really obvious aren't. So I'm going to show you another video. Because one of the criticisms of the gorilla the door study, study is that it's artificial. So let's look at something a little more real world. This video shows a participant from a 1998 study by Daniel Simons and Daniel Levin. Watch what happens as the unsuspecting pedestrian provides directions. The young man on the left is one of the experimenters. He has approached the white-haired man and asked for directions. Watch closely as two people carrying a door pass between them, and the first experimenter is replaced by someone else. <laughs> 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 like many of the people in the study, the pedestrian was entirely unaware that he was talking to a different person. That's smart. Approximately 50% of the people approached in this study didn't notice when the person they were talking to was replaced by someone else. This study was among the first to demonstrate that change blindness can occur outside of the laboratory. This video is from research by Dan Simons and Daniel Levin and is copyrighted. So what do you think? I know, isn't that awesome? Yeah, there are actually a whole bunch of shows that have replicated this. I think, um, is, is it Dateline? Dateline? Um, or, I'm sorry? Just for laughs. Oh yeah, Just for Laughs. One of the news, one of the news shows. I think it was like Dateline something or other. And they did it in New York City, and people just didn't notice. Right? There have been shows where they've actually had someone in a store helping a customer who has an eye patch and is wearing a uh, neck brace. And when the customer turns, the customer turns around, they'll have you know, like someone bump into something so the customer looks away. They took the eye patch off, or they switch eyes, right? or they take the neck brace off, and they see if the person notices. And, you know, it's really funny, because most of the time, they don't notice. Even something as obvious like a neck brace. Or one, in one of them, the guy even changes shirts. He goes from, I think, from a black shirt to a red shirt. So this is actually pretty common. Really important for us to think about when it comes to interface design, which we will be talking about on Tuesday. So have a great weekend. <laughs>